Hi guys, this is Anil Vishwai and you are watching me on my channel Passionate World. If you are watching our video for the first time and have not subscribed our channel, do subscribe our channel and press the bell icon. Whenever we will upload a video, you will get the notification. Friends, we have discussed about India and US relationship in our previous video. Since India and US relationship is very large one, I have decided to make it on three or four part because there are various issues that India is having with US. So in today's discussion, we will be having further discussion about India and US relationship, especially about two plus two dialogue, rage act of US and some other development. Let's start today's discussion. Recent development. India US have established a new 2 plus 2 ministerial dialogue to enhance strategic coordination between them and maintaining peace and stability in Indo-Pacific region. India and US have decided that 2 plus 2 dialogue will take place. 2 plus 2 means Indian counterpart is defense minister and external affairs minister and US counterpart is the Secretary of State and Defense Secretary. These people will sit down and discuss various issues concerning both the nations. Then, India and US strategic and commercial dialogue was described by the US Senate Department, State Department as signature mechanism for advancing the US and India's shared priorities will now be replaced by new dialogue. It will be now be replaced with the new dialogue. Composition. The new dialogue format will involve external affairs minister and defense minister from India's side and the American counterpart, secretary of state and defense secretary. External affairs minister in our side it is Subramanya Jaisankar. Second one is our defense minister Rajnath Singh. Then Secretary of State in US side, it is Mike Pompeo and Defense Secretary, it is homework for you, you let me know in the comment section who is the US Defense Secretary. The said priorities include job creation, improving the business and investment climate, sustaining rules based global order. The US strategic consultations in this format with key partners and allies include Australia, Japan, Philippines. The US is having this kind of a format with its closest of allies and which are the allies with whom US is having this kind of a partnership that is Australia, Japan and Philippines. These are the three nations with, with US they are having 2 plus 2 dialogue. Then India has had a dialogue in the 2 plus 2 format with Japan with secretaries of senior most bureaucrats from the foreign and defense ministries engaging with each other. India is also having this kind of a 2 plus 2 dialogue with whom? With Japan and India's external affairs bureaucrats as well as defense bureaucrat and their counterparts in Japan they are having mutual understanding and discussing various issues concerning both the nations. Then, RAISE Act. It is very very important RAISE Act, uh, recent development. President Donald Trump has announced his support for the reforming American immigration for strong employment. That is RAISE. Raising American Im um, immigration for strong employment. Raising American employment, immigration for strong Employment Act that would cut the half the number of legal immigrants allowed into the US while moving to a merit based favoring English speaking skilled workers for residency cards. Since the days of uh, Donald Trump has came because of his electoral plan that to bring down the immigration. He has passed the RAISE Act and in the, the RAISE Act who are favored more? English speaking skilled workers. 
the things are english speaking and skilled workers they will allow them and give residency to those particular people then the rail act would scrap the current lottery system to get into the us and instead institute a points based system for earning a green card factors that would be taken into account in would include english language skill education high paying job offers and age which are the factors they will be scrapping the previously there were lottery system they were issuing lottery type cards and they were giving them the residency but after that after donald trump came to power they have scrapped that lottery system and came to this particular system which is a merit based system and it is having four important parameters parameter number 1 is english lang language skills second one is education third one is high paying job and fourth one is age now in the other side we will discuss few more aspects of race as well as some recent development Friends, in this side we will discuss some more aspects of race act and some other developments recent the, the race act and the chain migration and replaces the low skilled system with a new points based system for receiving green card it is the, it has already ended the uh, lottery system and it has started a point based system mean depending upon your education your speaking skills and your high paying job that you are getting as well as your age you get a certain point based on that point you will rank in the priority list that is the thing then raise act could benefit highly educated and technology professionals from countries like india most of our it professionals they prefer this particular raise act and even us us will also take the high skilled labor from technology side only generally though they will also take some other field like fine art and medical but that this is the thing which they will prefer more in the technology sector then us rolls out expedited entry for low risk indian travelers it is another important initiative by the us for the close cooperation with india and expedited entry the us has started a rolling out for india its global entry program with which allows for expedited clearance of pre approved low risk traveler they have categorized high risk and pre approved low risk high risk this kind of a category and they will allow expedited entry for low risk pre approved low risk travelers then global entry program on landing at select airports the program members enter the us through automatic queues in this global entry program what will happen there will be automatic queues and people will directly go all those countries which are listed in this particular global entry program their citizens when they arrive in us they will directly queue in the global entry program then instead of queuing up to clear in the immigration by meeting an immigration officer apart from this countries whichever other country if the citizens will arrive in us airport they have to meet directly to the immigration officer then at this airport the members proceed to the global entry kiosk present their machine readable passport and us permanent resident card place their fingerprints on the scanner just like we do have in our aadhar then for the fingerprint verification and complete the custom clarification what will happen that they will they will place the automatic readable passport then they will put the fingerprint and then us permanent resident card and fingerprint as well as the custom clarification whatever custom whatever gold and hard case they are carrying they will have to declare it 
then travelers must be approved for the global entry program all applicants undergo a rigorous background check and in person interview before enrollment before this global entry program they have to undergo a rigorous background check and person interview before the enrollment into this particular scheme global entry scheme then with this india has become the 11th country whose citizens are eligible for enrolled in the customs and border protection initiative india is the only the 11th country declared by the us to have this custom and border protection initiative means there are only uh, 10 countries before india who were accorded by us immigration as customs and border protection initiative with this i came to the end of th this particular video let's have a quick recap in that we have studied about 2 plus 2 dialogue in 2 plus 2 dialogue india indian um, external affairs minister defense minister and their for, um, american counterparts that is secretary of state and defense secretary all those four people discuss various issues then after this before this us was having this kind of a discussion with australia japan and philippines india was having this particular discussion with their counterparts in japan external affairs minister and defense minister it was having then we came to the raise act raise act we studied about what are the aspects in raise act which will help the indian uh, immigration system they scrapped the old lottery system and went for a merit based uh, system in which english speaking skills then education then third one is a uh, third one is high paying job offers and fourth one is their age these were the parameters and after that this global entry program in the global entry program the people will directly have to undergo the global entry in the selected airports and india became the 11th country in the world to get this particular status whose citizens will directly undergo this global entry program and they have to only directly go and place they will uh, they will give the fingerprints us passport and other uh, custom related declaration after that after that they will be proceed for uh, their uh, work that is the thing and i hope you like today's video do give me a thumbs up and sir man if you are watching our video for the first time and have not subscribe our channel do subscribe our channel and thank you very much